Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Crack MRCS and this channel is dedicated for MRCS examinee who wants to pass the MRCS exam very easily and these videos will help you to pass the MRCS exam smoothly. So here the question a 10 years old child has a grommet inserted for a glue year. What type of epithelium is present on the external aspect of the tympanic membrane? So here 10 years old child has a grommet inserted uh, for a glue year. But here the main question is which epithelium present the external aspect of the tympanic membrane so here uh, this uh, first one grommet inserted in the glue ear it is usually uh, not important for the question it is one of the scenario so our main goal we have to find out the histological structure that means the epithelial lining of the tympanic membrane but which lies in the external part that means who is present at the last part of the external auditory meatus so here the options uh, the options are stratified squamous epithelium ciliated columnar epithelium non ciliated columnar epithelium non stratified squamous epithelium and none of the above so here let's uh, see a uh, picture here we can see this is a, a picture of the ear here we can see this is the uh, part of the external ear first of all it is the pinna of the ear then we can see this area this is the external auditory meatus uh, which ends uh, at the this is the tympanic membrane and there then it is the middle layer and ear and ear lies in the uh, more medial part uh, here we can see the inner ear this is cochlea and vestibulo cochlear nerve and we can see a tube that means eustachian tube which connects the uh, middle ear to the nasopharynx so our uh, discussion point is here the tympanic membrane we can see the tympanic membrane has two surface external surface that lies at the terminal port of external acoustic meatus or external auditory canal and the inner part which lies in the middle ear cavity so in the middle ear cavity this part this is lined by mucus membrane so in the inner part the tympanic membrane is covered by mucus membrane but we can see in the outer part of the tympanic membrane as it is continuation of external auditory meatus and external auditory meatus is a continuation of external ear skin so we can see the skin in the external ear also present in skin in the external auditory meatus from the pinna to external auditory meatus and this lining lining also present in the outer surface of the tympanic membrane so outer surface of the tympanic membrane its lining is same as the lining of the skin or external auditory meatus and this lining is stratified squamous epithelium so outer membrane of the tympanic membrane or outer aspect of the tympanic membrane lining is stratified squamous epithelium